for the mainstream to come out and tell you that, hey, we're going to impose, uh, the stores are going to start imposing limits. They know what's coming. We should be praying right now, heavily and fervently, that God's will be done in all that is happening right now in this country, all the twisted things that are going on. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the real world prepper. Look at that sky behind me. Look at that. The clouds, the morning sun breaking through to the east there, which is behind me. It's beautiful. God's creation is beautiful. God answers prayers. We should be praying right now, heavily and fervently, that God's will be done in all that is happening right now in this country, all the twisted things that are going on. And we don't have to go into what they are because we've beat that, that dead horse, you know, to a pulp. So you guys know what it is I'm speaking of. So I'm not going to mention any of the details specifically at this point, but, uh, we need to be praying. We need to be praying hard. We need to be fasting. Uh, those of us that, that those of y'all that do fast, uh, I have fasted before. It is, uh, not something I do regularly, but I have done it before. Um, we need to get our houses in order. We need to be praying for the evil to be exposed that's going on. We need to be praying for our communities. We need to be praying for our cities, for our counties, for our towns. We need to pray for our country. We need to pray for Donald Trump uh, that he is protected from this evil. Uh, I'm not going to advocate that we pray that he wins this election once it's all said and done. Although, I will let you know just my personal opinion is I hope that he does. I hope that all this is exposed, uh, all this stuff that's coming out, and, uh, you know, and that he does prevail because I don't want a uh, socialist party running uh, the country, as it were, or at least being the puppets that whose strings get pulled by the powers that be for the next four years or more. You know, the, the news has already been reporting uh, as recently as last night uh, that I observed on about three different mainstream channels, as well as some of the fringe stuff you see on YouTube, about shortages coming. They're already warning about, hey, going forward, uh, a lot of grocery stores, a lot of retailers are going to be ratcheting back uh, what you can purchase, how much you can purchase. They're gonna put limits on things. We knew this was coming. We've been saying it's coming again. You know, it happened in the spring. You guys all saw the empty shelves, of course. Keep on buying things, keep on stocking up your preps, uh, filling up your stock rooms, all of those things. It is still as vitally important. It is more important now, I think. Uh, you know, you know the deal, the food, the water, the medical, the sanitary stuff, the soaps, the long-term uh, items, the non-perishables, uh, you know, firearms, uh, ammunition, clothing, you know, warm clothes, good shoes, uh, anything that you don't have, uh, ways to heat your home, you know, ways to, to draw water if you have a well and things of that nature. Got to get all that stuff in order if you haven't already. Keep working towards that. Because uh, for the mainstream to come out and tell you that, hey, we're going to impose, uh, the stores are going to start imposing limits. They know what's coming. They know what's coming. Another something that uh, people know what's coming, or uh, an indication, in my opinion, of someone knowing what's coming is uh, the tweet that old DJT, Donald Trump, put out yesterday. You know, he'd been strangely quiet for a week since Thursday last week. Uh, shortly after the election, two days after the election. And he's more or less been quiet till he dropped a tweet yesterday. Now, many have speculated that uh, that he has been quiet uh, 
because he and his team are gathering up the evidence and getting ready to swing a bat really hard in the direction of this uh, fraudulent election, which I believe it is, and I know many of you do too. Um, again, whoever prevails as the legitimate winner, I'm ready to accept that. Now, whether I like it or not is another story, but I'm ready to accept it if it is legitimate and can be proven so. But he dropped this tweet yesterday that, uh, and I don't, it's, it's on this phone, so I can't undo this recording to show it, to look at it, but something along the lines of uh, two point, if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, two point, so two or 1.7, a couple million votes that were uh, thrown out by this Dominion uh, software that had been used in many of these uh, states' electronic polling systems. Uh, 221 uh, in Pennsylvania alone uh, that I believe had been either deleted or converted to Biden or some of both. Uh, 400 and something thousand in uh, was it Michigan, Nevada. I can't remember. You'll have to look at the tweet if they haven't taken it down. But it was some very specific details about Dominion statistics that had come out. And in my opinion, he doesn't, he, he wouldn't put that out if they didn't have something. If that administration, Trump's administration, did not have something. So I'm hoping that something comes to fruition there. Uh, I'm praying that it does. But more than anything, I'm going to be praying for our country. I'm going to be praying for the protection of those that seek to, uh, to, to do good by us Americans and by America as a country and to expose those who seek to undermine and destroy this country and our way of life. So, uh, you know, the baby killers, the, uh, the drug traffickers, the human traffickers, the, uh, the co-conspirators uh, of our demise. So, on this beautiful morning, Friday morning, just want you guys to think about that. We need to be in prayer. Uh, and we can be hopeful, you know. Hopeful that God is in control uh, regardless of the outcome of what happens. Hey, look, over the weekend, I've got some parts for Old Blue. That's that old Ford truck that I got, if you guys were paying attention. An old uh, EMP vehicle. <laughs> and uh, so I got a few things that it needed. Um, and uh, I may do a video this weekend of showing you just putting some of that stuff together. I'm also going to probably show off some of uh, the, uh, the chicken coop, uh, the chicken staging area where the babies are almost fully grown and we've done a few more modifications to uh, one of those coops. So I may just show you around some of that stuff, but, but uh, that'll be this weekend. We'll, we'll get into that and uh, we may do a big burn pile. I don't know. And I'm probably going to do a little target practicing this weekend, a little training. So that being said, I hope you guys are doing the same. That is getting things together, uh, getting yourself together, getting trained, uh, being in prayer, stacking your stocks, and just keeping your eyes on the prize, keeping your eyes open, keeping your head on a swivel. Uh, pay attention, but do not let it consume you as it often can for many of us. I have found myself in that trap too but only be consumed by the love of Christ. And I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys being here, all of you that are here. Um, I noticed that uh, the big conglomerate that runs this platform is again messing with me. I've got more videos that have been flagged that are also old videos. Uh, one about 9-11, a tribute to 9-11 that I did. Uh, when did I do that? last year I think maybe this year I can't remember but you know just more videos that they're flagging they're just cracking down more making it more difficult and less fun to do this stuff so uh, pray for old RWP too please if you don't mind look see you guys later thanks so much I will catch up very soon bye bye